In this video, I'm going to raise the strut towers on my rabbit and go from this to this. So yeah, stay tuned. Um, today I'm going to be cutting the strut, the top of the strut towers off to try to raise them. Um, a quick little overview of where I'm at so far on the, the pickup. Um, cleaned out the inside real good. It was super dusty in there. It's going to get dust, even dustier I'm sure, but I wanted to clean it out. Take everything out that I don't need. And then uh, I talked about tailgates before. This blue tailgate is a tailgate I got from a junkyard. And that's the one I plan on using. I'm going to have to uh, strip it down and uh, probably fill these, the, the button holes. I'm going to have to fill all those. Other than that, there's no real uh, holes or anything. It's just surface rust on the back of it. And then the tailgate's pretty straight for the most part. Compared to the tailgate that came off the pickup that I don't want to use. The whole bottom is rusted out. And one of the ends is broke so that the it doesn't fit on the tailgate. One of the uh, side pieces there. So you can't even mount it on the truck. Or you can on one side and then close it, but if you drop it down, it falls down because it, it doesn't fit on one of these. The mounts. So yeah, those are the tailgates I have. One I'm gonna use, the other one's just gonna be for decoration or what have you. I kinda, kinda hate doing that to this tailgate. If I was going this color, I'd leave it as is, but I'm kinda, I wanna go back to the, the uh, slate gray color, so I kinda gotta strip it down and do what, I'm, do what I gotta do to paint it, so yeah. All right, to, st to start off, I got these, uh, I had a whole section of uh, the strut towers somebody cut off for me. Um, and then I end up taking and marking down two and a quarter inches from the top down. And then I cut, I cut them off and then separated all the, the back portion for the, the, for the donor towers I'm using. I have two two of these that I'm going to be using. I started out, I made this uh, shim and then bolted it to the top of the strut tower. And then I made this shim, which is three quarters of an inch thick. And I placed it under here and then scribed all the way around the, uh, scribed all the way around here. So I established my cut line. That's what that, that cut line represents. That's where I'm going to cut the top of the strut tower off. And then I'll be able to lay this right on top and hopefully line it up and then weld it in place. So that's my plan. Whether or not it works out, that's what I'm going to go with. But I'm going to start cutting the tops off. I'll probably have to There'll probably be uh, some spot welds in here. I'm going to have to drill out, but I'm going to start by cutting the top of this off and then go from there. I'm going to start by masking off the lines, the cut lines. Like, now with those masks, I can get to cutting them off. And go from there. The reason why I chose to uh, cut off the tops of different towers and then cut off mine is because it was a I figured it'd a little bit be a little bit easier versus trying to shape it shape some metal and then also um, then I wouldn't have like a double weld in here I just have the one weld so 
that was my idea doing it. Plus I seen somebody else do it this way and that's kind of why I'm doing it that way as well. Just raise the towers and put on some different ones and go from there. So yeah, let's get to cutting these. So I got both tops cut off. Now I can work on getting the back side of this off. So then I can try fitting on the new tops. Strut tower is cut off the tops. Now I'm gonna wire wheel the inside of this on both sides. So I can clean up all the, the inside of this area before I weld the top on. I already cleaned up the inside of these, so these are good to go. So I got the uh, strut towers pretty much cleaned up, sitting where I want them to. I ended up uh, spraying some weld through primer on the back side and then on this. Kind of have that on both sides. Weld through primer. So now I'm going to uh, double check I have everything uh, fitting where I want it to and then uh, making sure everything looks looks good and then I uh, plan on uh, starting to tack them in place so I plan on tacking them in and then I put some uh, I drilled some holes in for so I can drill so I can screw them to the the, the side and hold them in place also I have some clamps too but I want to um, as far as sitting on top, that's good, but I want to clamp this tight, make sure it's tight when I weld them on both sides. I did the same thing, so, so yeah, that's where I'm at. I, uh, just need to double check things before I, uh, melt them on. Weld. Weld. Yeah. Melt. Weld, melt. too. Yeah. Alright, let's just get trying to weld this thing in. All right, so I have one tack here. I put it in place to keep it centered up. Um, it's feeling pretty good. And then I screwed in up top the sides and then I added some clamps here. 
just to get me going so I can tack weld in the rest of the way and then make sure it doesn't move and then I can weld the rest of it. I'm probably going to weld it inside and out that way when I grind this that there's still weld on the inside that just in case I didn't penetrate it enough it's got weld both sides. So. Back at it. side welded in on the outside now to do this side I'm gonna do the same thing tack it in place screw it tight and then weld it in Alright, so I have the uh, the tops all welded in, um, inside and out. So now I need to start grinding on this stuff all the way around. Both these. So that's what I'm gonna get to doing, grinding. All right, so I got everything all ground in, both sides. Um, I still need to touch up some. My flapper disc was getting bad. So so there's like a little mismatch there. Try to get rid of that, so least amount of filler possible. This is looking pretty good. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how they, how they turned out. So 
so yeah, I appreciate everybody watching and all the likes and the comments. Um, I think next what I'm gonna do is I might either touch up, start working on the tailgate, or I'm gonna start touching up the doors. There's some rust on the bottom part of both doors. One, one's lower, one's up a little bit higher, but I need to work on the doors and then the tailgate. So that's probably what I'm gonna work on next. Um, besides that, other than sand and stuff in the bay, um, I still need to um, get a brake kit because I'm going to use the under the dash brake kit. So I need to fill these holes, but I'm not sure if I want to fill them now or wait till I get the, there's like a filler piece that goes with this. So I might put that on the inside first and then do this. But other than that, I need to sand the, the bay more and get that ready for primer. So the bay needs sanded a lot. The rest of the truck needs sanded some, but but yeah, next time I'll either be working on the tailgate or the um, drivers and pass driver and passenger door. So, anywho, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all the likes and everything, comments, and I will see you in the next one.